Hey guys, what's up? Hope you all are doing amazing. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will try covering each and everything regarding Presidency University. So guys, this is going to be an honest review and this video is all you need to watch to know each and every detail about Presidency University, its courses, its fees, why you should join, why you should not join, placements, all of them. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. Before I get started, in case if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and do smash the like button so that I know that you are liking the content that I'm putting out. First of all, what is the difference between Presidency University and Presidency College? So guys, couple of days back, I made up a video regarding Presidency College Bangalore uh, and I'm glad that each one of you liked the video. But at the same time, I received a lot of queries from a lot of people who got really confused that, okay, what is Presidency University? What is Presidency College? What's the difference? Is it the same? Is it not the same? So Basically guys, both Presidency University and Presidency College both are situated in Bangalore and both of them are managed by the same group. Hence you can see that the logo is just the same. However, both Presidency University and Presidency College function on their own and they have a different campus. However, there are a few courses like BBA, BCom, MBA that are offered by both Presidency University and Presidency College. But uh, for all you people, you need to consider these two as very separate entities and then look at whether which one you should join and which one you should not join. So guys, talking about the key facts regarding Presidency University. So basically, Presidency University was established in the year 2013. So basically, it's far newer than Presidency College in Bangalore. It is managed by the Presidency Group of Institutions, which is also managing Presidency College. And it is recognized by UGC since it is Presidency University, not college. So it's directly answerable to the University Grants Commission. Talking about the various courses. So now, guys, uh, definitely, since it is a university, Presidency University has a lot of schools or departments and under those departments they are offering multitudes of courses. So guys talking about the first department or a school which is the School of Engineering they have 25 courses relating to BTEC from artificial intelligence to internet of things to blockchain to IT infrastructure they've got 25 BTEC courses and they have 5 MTech courses. Talking about law, they have BALLB, BBLLB, BCOM LLB, and they also have LLM. One is in, in one is with IP, and the other one is in technology law. Talking about school of management, they have six different kinds of BBA, basically catering to all the upcoming trends in the world of BBA. They've got digital marketing, they've got financial technology, they've got aviation, they've got supply chain, they've got business analytics. Uh, for MBA two, they have five different kinds of MBAs. One is in dual specialization, the other one is in analytics, the other one is in digital marketing, e-business, supply chain, logistics. So they're catering to a lot of uh, different uh, particular fields when it comes to school of management. Talking about school of media, they have BA in journalism and mass communication. Uh, likewise, I think you get to choose your specialization from journalism to psychology to political science. Talking about School of Information Sciences, they've got BCA, one BCA specialization in Augment Reality and Virtual Reality. The other one is in specializing in gamings and graphics. They also have a BSc course in Data Science. Uh, so you can look into that. For School of Design, they've got tons of courses here too, from product design to game design, communication design, fashion design, multimedia, which is into VFX, SFX and gaming. And Lastly, talking about School of Commerce, they've got BCom Professional, which is in specialization in specializing in banking and finance. The other one is in corporate accounting and taxation. They've also got a BCom Honors, uh, specializing in corporate accounting with CMA. They also have another BCom uh, Honors specializing in business analytics. And they've also got a BSc Economics, uh, which is specializing in economic stats and maths. So guys, in comparison, basically, uh, Presidency University has got tons of schools under them. They've got various courses and since it is a very new university, they've got all the latest different fields catering to be it digital marketing, fintech, uh, BCom, LLB, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence. So in those sense, I think they're offering a lot of courses. Talking about the admission process, guys. So now the admission process to Presidency University is pretty easy. Uh, each one of you can go up and fill the application form and pay the registration fees. After that, for some courses, they've got their own entrance test like PU LAT, uh, PU WET, uh, WET which, is into, which is into engineering. They also got some other entrance tests and for some, they do not have any entrance tests. 
for a few courses they are all, they are asking for a statement of purpose uh, for the others majorly they are having a personal interviews and uh, for few they are having extempore presentation so basically this is the whole process for the admission at presidency university but please guys this process varies from course to course that means you might not have to go through all those all these subjects maybe for you only personal interviews there maybe for you only the entrance test is there so please check it up i'll be putting down the link of those uh, of that in the description of this video so do check it up what exactly is your process for the course that you are applying for be it for the school of management or for the school of engineering or for the school of law so talking about the infrastructure at presidency university guys i think the infrastructure is mind boggling and it's actually a state of the art kind of an infrastructure why because uh, it is fairly, it is very newly built and it looks huge so the classrooms are very well equipped they've got a huge auditorium a great library a good seating a food food court area and uh, you know cafeteria they've got all the sports facilities they've got various labs all these things one great thing that you can do is you can go on to the university's website and take a virtual tour uh, basically all these pictures are from the virtual tour itself which i took with the university so you can do it too and uh, look it from your own eyes of how you find the infrastructure but very simple uh, since it is a very newly built one Uh, the infrastructure is going to be great talking about the fees at presidency university so guys uh, their fees varies from course to course for btech which is a four year course approximate fees is around 8 lakh 40000 for bcom it comes about 2 rupees 3 lakh 70000 for the three years for bba it's approximately 4 lakh 50000 or 4 lakh 60000 for the three years for mba for two years is 6 lakh 50000 for law they're taking approximately 5 lakhs and 40000 uh, mind you guys these are just the approximate figures don't kill me if it is 20 Thirty thousand up or twenty thirty thousand down. It keep it keeps uh, varying uh, accordingly. Likewise, guys, another few things that I did, did read about the university is got they got various things to subsidize this amount. So you have education loans being offered from various companies. You'll find the details on the university's website at. as well uh, they've also got something called as a early registration discount or an early bird discount which means if you apply early and you make it through you can get some discount on the fees and they also are offering tons of scholarships so you can be looking into those as well check out the link in the description talking about placements guys so i did a uh, deep dive so i did deep dive into university's placement stats uh, however the only thing that i mentioned are a lot of companies uh, that have visited the campus and you can find a few names here like nestaway puma uh, aditya birla capital kotak mahindra bank hdfc bank byju's flipkart reliance quicker bata indusin bank so all these companies have visited the campus uh, however they have not provided any stats about the particular place directly guys talking about the reasons of why you should join presidency university number 1 is the infrastructure hands down it is brand new you guys would be enjoying the brand new infrastructure and the campus is huge it's uh, 67 acres so and pretty large green so you know it, it's a great area to be in uh secondly is the faculty since it's a private university so the faculty tend to be much better likewise the courses are very well designed and it said that the faculties are uh, since it's a new university they've poached a uh, good faculties from iits iims so your learning tends to be better from if you're learning from the experienced people uh, along with that guys another reason why you should join presidency university is the peer learning in the sense that there're going to be more than 6400 people on campus across like engineering law design media management commerce and when you are being around those people from different walks of life and pursuing different careers in the future your learning is great so even if you're studying one course like you say you're going for a bba uh, but you will also be interacting with people from btech or from law from pca and your learning is great hence i feel that this can be one of the reasons why you should join presidency university the fourth and the last reason why you should join presidency university guys are the relevant courses now i know at the start i was talking a lot in detail about the courses why is that is because they're catering to special needs a lot of old universities haven't migrated to like different specializations or you know providing direct courses and say like in a supply chain or in information of things or in blockchain and presidency university since it's a new university they've done their homework and got 
those courses for you so in case you are inclined towards either of uh, those fields or particular specializations taking a course which is very relevant in today's time will surely help you hence i feel that these are the reasons of why you should be joining presidency university talking about the reasons why you should not be joining presidency university number one is going to be location uh, it is in yalahanka which is on the top north uh, so not a very student friendly community around uh, it, there's a lot of empty space around even though there are a lot of other universities also based in yalahanka uh, yalahanka but uh, i still feel like you know uh, not an amazing place to be at secondly it's fairly new so you are going to be investing the next 3 or 4 years of your life uh, in a fairly new where systems are just being set because say uh, even though university was established in 2013 it started its operation i guess in 2015 and a lot of the courses that i talked about uh, are the first time courses or only one year before they've started or two years before so even the final batch is yet to graduate like even for law uh, the final batch just graduated last year which is in 2020 so the there on those levels it's a fairly new university and i know a lot of people do have their reservations of joining a new university because they don't know how it is to, going to be turn out to be and that is exactly what my third third point is of why you should not join presidency university which is the brand name uh, even though i know that presidency group of institutions have got a huge growth you know they've got their schools they've got colleges they've also set up a university so they are growing at an immense pace but still like talking in terms of presidency university i think there's still a lot of work to be done on building up like a national and an international presence and uh, all those people who are very brand name savvy might not join this university just because of that because they might want to join a university which has got like an all india presence or like an international presence and everybody knows about it uh, as far as now i think presidency university is still not very known the next point is not all courses are great so guys i did a lot of research on the internet i did talk to a couple of people uh, who are studying and who have passed graduated from uh, presidency university so some of the courses are really good at presidency university which they've started first like uh, their engineering or btech courses are really good even their mba is uh, supposedly very good however uh, not all the courses are great so if you're going like for some other uh, courses than the ones that i mentioned just just do your research into how good those courses are because you know it's not like all the courses are great that happens with the best of the universities also so just do your research there Uh, along with that i feel that the university is a little expensive considering that it's a fairly uni- new university they are charging the amounts that very established and uh, very established universities are charging and plus since it's private i think it's even more expensive even though i know the infrastructure is great but still a lot of people who want to save up their cost might not want to join this because it is expensive uh the last reason why i would suggest you guys not to join uh presidency university or why you should be looking at not joining because of it is that there is not a lot of info regarding placements and internet is flooded with mixed reviews about their placement some of them say uh that yes there are a lot of companies that are visiting the campus but the packages that they're offering is very less some of them are saying that no uh, only 70% batches being placed or 80% batches being placed uh, like in a bba aviation they're saying that there are no placements happening however on their website they've mentioned uh, the list of a lot of companies or recruiters that have visited the campus so just just do your personal research on that uh, since there is not exactly a lot of information like it is mentioned for residency college on their website likewise for presidency university there's not a lot of information available hence i am a little skeptical about that part of presidency university guys that was the review about presidency university in bangalore if you like this video do smash the like button comment below if you have any doubts question queries uh, last but not the least guys please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys can receive regular updates of whenever i upload any new video and i am motivated to make more videos for all you people take care guys see you soon with another video bye bye